Are you in need of childcare in 2024? The Peggy Wynn Learning Center in the East Lake community of Birmingham, Alabama is enrolling children six weeks to five years old for a flat rate of $100 per week. Again, that's a flat rate of $100 per week. And this offer only lasts until December 31st. Call 205-974-4520 or email office at nrschurch.org. Hey leaders, it's that time again to sign up to lead a small group. If you have an idea for a small group, or if you've led in the past and you're ready to continue your group, this is the time to sign up. All you have to do is go online to beatmetothestart.net, click the banner that says Small Group Leader, and sign up. We need your help to start our 2024 small groups off right. In Alabama, 21.8% of our youth ages 10 to 17 are classified as obese. Childhood obesity is estimated to cost $14 billion annually in direct health expenses. Adults in Alabama actually lead in the obesity rate nationwide at 39% as of 2020. This is just some of the data from the CDC about Alabama's health. That's why the Star Church is partnering with Heal United for a free healthy lifestyle event. It's Saturday, January 20th, 10 a.m., right here at the Star. We're reclaiming our health through exercise, eating, and education. There'll be free health screenings and a mobile market grocery store and much more. So again, that's Saturday, January 20th, 10 a.m., right here at the Star. We're reclaiming our health with a free, healthy lifestyle event. Don't miss it. Have you already decided that 2024 is going to be your year? Well, let's start this year off right with 21 days of prayer and fasting. Yes, it starts January 7th and goes through January 27th every morning, 6.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. You can join the prayer call on the prayer conference line and on Pastor's YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash at Pastor Beavers. We will also be going through Pastor's new ebook, Disciplines of a Disciple, that can be downloaded on January 7th. We will end with a prayer celebration January 27th at 9 a.m. at our Birmingham campus. For more information and tips on fasting, please go online to beatmetothestart.net. Click the banner that says 21 Days of Fasting for all of the details and all the information that you need. Again, that's 21 days of prayer and fasting, January 7th through January 27th. Let's pray together. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Wake up, everybody. No more sleeping in bed. Come on. It is 21 days of prayer and fasting. It is day number one. It is week number one. I'm super duper excited. We do prayer and fasting at the beginning of the year because Jesus said in Matthew chapter number 6, verse 33, Seek ye first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all of these things shall be added unto you. I really believe that one of the pet peeves inside of the body of Christ is not that we don't seek God, but when we seek God, many of us do not seek him first. So we want to give God the very first part of of our year when you put him first you don't have to chase after things but god will send things to chase after you do me a favor make sure that you subscribe to this youtube channel hit the subscribe button that is on your screen every time that you do this i automatically pop up on your youtube feed make sure that you like that you comment go ahead and drop your name in your city because every time that you do it, it does something to the algorithms. And the same way that I popped up on your feed, I begin to pop up on other people's feed. Also, click the share button. Everybody can be a part of the share ministry. When you click the share button, I want you to share it with five people inside of your contacts. Invite them to 21 days of prayer and fasting. If you were not on our text messaging list, text the word STAR to 94253 text star to 94253 
One of the benefits to joining our text messaging list is that you get the news firsthand before it ever hits the TV, the radio, before it ever hits social media. Get it firsthand by way of your cell phone. Text STAR to 94253. A couple of things that I do want to announce. Why prayer and fasting? Fasting disconnects us from the world. Prayer is what connects us to God. There are times where we are connected to God through prayer and simultaneously we are connected to the world. But this is a time strategically at the beginning of the year where we are disconnecting from the world and connecting to God only. Several different fasts that people are able to do. Some people are doing a Daniel fast. Some people are doing a Jewish fast. Some are doing a complete fast. And some people are doing a soul fast. If you need resources and tips on prayer and fasting, go to the website. You see it on the screen. www.beatmetothestar.net That's www.beatmetothestar.net We are not just perusing through these 21 days, but we do have a focus. That focus is a devotional book that I wrote entitled Disciplines of Being a Disciple. Have you downloaded it yet? Make sure that you download Disciplines of Being a Disciple. Go to the website, www.beatmetothestar.net. We are in chapter number one on today. And do not forget the grand finale of 21 Days of Prayer and fasting is Saturday, January the 27th, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time at the main campus in Birmingham, Alabama. Listen, I need you to move some to make some shake. Move something out of the way. Make sure that you are present and accounted for on Saturday, January 27th, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time at the main campus for the grand finale, 21 days of prayer and fasting. Listen, if it was a praise party, y'all would pack it out. If I had the hottest preacher in America, y'all would pack it out. But Jesus said, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Let's pack this place out wall to wall for prayer for the grand finale. That being said, I am not by myself none of these 21 days. But on this Sunday morning, I have none other than the campus pastor of our Sylacauga location. He hails from Birmingham, Alabama. He is one of the longest tenured members on our staff. He and his wife have been a part of the Star Church under the leadership of the former great Dr. T.C. Chappelle. They've been a part of this church for maybe 26 years, and he's the longest tenured member on my staff. I became the pastor in 2010, I believe he came on staff at 2010 or 2011. None other put those hands together than campus pastor Michael Ty. Come on, say hey to the people. Look at that camera. White. Good morning, good morning, good morning to each and every one of you. I am just happy as I can be to be here on this Sunday morning here with you as well as our senior pastor Thomas Beavers. Look at us. The Lord and kept us here in 2024. Looked out for us all throughout 2023, and look at us. We are here. And I'm just glad to be here, Pastor. Man, I'm glad to be here, too. It's Sunday morning, so we're in here early Sunday morning. That means immediately when we finish, you got to shoot about an hour and 10 minutes down the road to Sylacauga. How have things been going in Sylacauga? Things have been going very well in Sylacauga. I am so thankful. We are grateful. We are humble for what the God is doing to us, through us. And for us, we had a great 2023. It'll officially be one year next month. And uh, I can't say nothing but thanks be to God. Wow, that's thanks, awesome. Thanks that's awesome. That's awesome. That's amazing. Well, listen, we're going to get ready to pray for the people. We are praying for people in the area of their faith, their finance, and their fitness. So I'm going to open up and I'm going to pray for people's faith. You're going to pray for their finance. I'm going to pray for their fitness, and then you're going to say a closing prayer. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you, we glorify you, we praise you, we magnify you, God. You are so worthy to be praised. God, we thank you for day number one of 21 days of prayer and fasting, a special time of year, Father God, to be able to disconnect from the world and to be able to connect ourselves to you through 
prayer. Father God, we want to do this at the beginning of the year because we want to put you first. Your word teaches us that we are to seek you first, your kingdom and your righteousness. And all of these things, food, clothing, shelter, basic necessities of life shall be added unto us, Father God. When we seek you first, we don't have to chase after things, but you send things to chase after us. God, your word declares not only are we to seek you first, but we are to seek you diligently. Your word says in Hebrews 11 and 6 that without faith it is impossible to please you. But he that come of the God must believe that you are and that you are a rewarder of those that diligently seek you. Father God, so many people may not have materially what they desire, but you have given to every man and every sister a measure of of faith and so father god we know that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of god there's no way to develop our faith no way to grow our faith without the word of god so god i pray right now for everyone that is locked in for everyone that is tuned in at this particular moment in time god i pray right now that you would help us to lock in and to put ourselves in a position to develop and to grow our faith to keep ourselves immersed inside of the word of god father god i pray right now in the name of jesus god that we would be at church on a regular basis. We know that we are the church, but we also know that you've called us to corporate worship. Your word declares that we are not to forsake the, the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is and so much more that we see the day approaching. So God, right now, I pray, God, that we would keep ourselves in a position to hear your word. I pray that we would lock in in these 21 days of prayer and fasting, God. God, I pray right now for those that are downloading the devotional. I pray that we would actually read it. Father God, and I pray that we would get something out of it right now in the name of Jesus, God. I pray that the seeds of faith that you've placed inside of us will grow up and spring out like wildfire in the name of Jesus and affect every area of our life, that we would no longer walk in fear, but that we would walk in faith God we thank you and we consider it done we don't just pray for faith God we pray right now for finances pray for the finances of the people Dear Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we continue to thank you for this day. Yes, we thank Lord. you for this time. We thank Hallelujah. you for this moment. We thank you because you are the great Glory almighty God. Thank you. There is no one like you in this universe from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sun. You are worthy to be praised. Father, you are excellent in everything that you do. If we had 10,000 tongues, yes, Lord. we could not thank you enough Hallelujah. because you are worthy to be praised. Without you, we are absolutely nothing. But with you, all things are possible. Thank you. But you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can ask or think, according to the power that works inside of us. Now, dear Heavenly Father, we come before you, dear Heavenly Father, because you are our source. We don't have a backup plan, Father. It's for you that we live, we move, we have our being. Therefore, we just thank you for being our source right now. Thank you. There are many resources in the world, but there is only one source, and that is you. And we thank you for the resources, such as our job. We thank you for the resources, dear Heavenly Father, such as money in the bank. We thank you for resources, dear Heavenly Father, that you have given us. But more than any, we thank you for being our source in the mighty name of Jesus. Therefore, we come before you, Father, in the need of finances, dear Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we seek you first, yes, dear Lord. Father. Thank you, Jesus. And then we seek finances from you later. In the mighty name of Jesus. And therefore, Father, we must admit, dear Heavenly Father, that there are families all around this universe, including our church, dear Heavenly Father, that has bills due and don't know what to do. Yes, we have Lord. families right now, dear Heavenly Father, that have vehicles that have broken down and they can't get them repaired. We have children that Jesus. have resources that need to be met. And the parents have thrown up their hands and don't know what to do. And therefore, Father, we come before you yes, right Lord. now, being our source, because you own the cattle on a thousand hills. You own all the gold in the land. You own all the silver in the land. All the pearls, they belong to you. And because we are your children, we are just asking right now that you will come and see about us, dear Heavenly Father. Come and see about us, dear Heavenly Father, for every need that needs to be met yes, as Lord. it relates to finances. Thank you. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, dear Heavenly Father. And I must admit, Father, I am not scared because you got a million ways on how you can do what you do. But all we need right now is just one way, just one thought, just one situation on your behalf 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, you can speak and men will live. And then again, speak again, and men will die, dear Heavenly Father. And surely, dear Heavenly Father, you can put all the resources that you possess underneath you, you can come and see about us Thank you, in Lord. the mighty name of Jesus. Now, we ask you to come and see about your children. Bless us what we stand in need of. Some of us don't even know, but God, we thank God that you know all things. Thank you. You see all things. Thank you. You can do all things thank except you. fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. So we are not going to cry right now, dear Heavenly Father. We are not going to have a pity party right now, dear Heavenly Father. We come in boldly before the throne of God, dear thank Heavenly you. Father, and we put our petition before you as it relates to finances. Come and see about us. In Jesus' name. And Father, in the name of Jesus, we also pray for people in the area of fitness. God, we know that this is a time of year where people come in with goals, with dreams, with aspirations. God, we know that we can't pray weight off of us, Father God. There are things that we need to do. Father God, so many people want to lose weight. Your word declares that we are to lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily beset us and run with patience the race that is before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. God, many of us have weights in our mind. Many of us have weights on our heart. This morning, we lay them down right now in the name of Jesus. God, we say empty us. God, as we fast, empty us right now. Empty us of everything physically, intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually that is not of you, Father God. And then God, give us the discipline to exercise. Give us the discipline to eat right. God, whether we're doing a complete fast, which is nothing but liquids, a Daniel fast, uh, whether it be fruits and juice and vegetables and water, or whether it's a Jewish fast, not eating from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., or a soul fast, God, whatever it may be, if it's ignored Ignoring social media, Father God. I pray that it's not about the kind of fast, but the heart of, of the fast. Help us to be disciplined in this fast. And then, God, help us to be disciplined in our eating habits after the fast, Father God. And we speak your word right now for those that have been diagnosed, Father God, with sicknesses and with ailments. Surely you bore all of our griefs, sorrows, sicknesses, diseases, everything that diseases and pains us on the cross. You were wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. By your stripes we're healed. We thank you for it. We consider it done. In Jesus' name, I'm going to close it outside. Amen. Amen and amen. Listen, listen, for those of you that may just be tuning in, do not forget to tap that share button that is on your screen when you tap the share button that is on your screen, there is a link that is going to pop up. I want you to take that link forward it to five people inside of your contacts, invite them to pray. If you're not on our text messaging list, make sure that you take out your cell phone, text the word STAR to 94253. One of the benefits is that you get the STAR news and you get it firsthand before it ever hits the TV, the radio, before it ever hits social media. You get it firsthand by way of your cell phone. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Now, uh, Pastor Michael Todd, day number one of our devotional. People have been downloading the devotional. It is called Disciplines of a Disciple. The root word of discipline is disciple. So many people claim to be disciples, but we do not have discipline. And I believe with all of my heart that if people had more discipline, that we would not so often have to pray for miracles. Because some miracles we need, we need the miracle and we didn't cause it on ourselves. But then there's other miracles that we need. We need a miracle simply because we lack discipline and got ourselves in a position to where we need a miracle. So we're at the beginning of the year uh, in the area of discipline, whether it's eating before we talk about the spiritual, let's talk about the natural, whether it's eating, whether it's working out. Uh, why do you think it's so hard for people to be disciplined? believe that most people want to be disciplined but you really got to make it a whatever you're trying to be disciplined for it can't be an event it's got to be a lifestyle got to be a lifestyle it's got to be a lifestyle you got to wake up in the morning and it's got to be a lifestyle whether you happy or sad it's got to be a lifestyle have money don't have money it's got to be a lifestyle thunder and lightning it must be a lifestyle no matter what it looks like no matter what it feels like no matter what it is it must be be a lifestyle and not an event and we want to make it an event that's good that's good so so many times we do want to make it an event or maybe we don't want it to be an event but it morphs into being an event so many people have started the year uh with goals and even with new year's resolutions but we 
we have the inspiration to start. We lack the discipline in order to finish. So in the natural, we need discipline. Matter of fact, so many people ask, why do we make this 21 days? It's 21 days because I am told psychologically that it takes 21 days to form a habit. 21 days to form a habit. Anything that you do for 21 days straight, by the time that you fin uh, finish it, it becomes like clockwork and you form a habit. What are some healthy habits that you think people can form spiritually in order to aid them in being disciplined disciples of Jesus Christ, healthy spiritual habits that we need to form. I think the first thing, I, I just give you a few that I do each and every day. When I open up my eyes, I'm telling God, thank you. Thank you. I'm thanking, I think a habit great. of Thanksgiving. My feet don't even have to hit the floor. I'm thanking Him as I lay in bed to see another day. I think another day is I'm just talking to Him, uh, I'm talking to Him in prayer. Uh, the next thing I'm doing, uh, uh, I'm going to get on the prayer line. I'm going to listen, uh, listen to what the daily devotion is. I'm going to read his word. I need to hear his word. I need to put his word in my mouth. I mean, that's my, before I even leave the head outside, because I don't know what's awaiting me. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So, so in chapter number one of the book, when we talk about what is a disciple, a disciple is a learner and a follower of Jesus who makes other learners and followers of Jesus. I often say this, coming to church does not make us a disciple. No more than sitting in a garage makes us a car. But a disciple, I need you to hear this clearly. A disciple is a learner and a follower of Jesus who makes other learners and followers of Jesus. I want to deal with that piece for the rest of this morning. The piece about being a learner and a follower of Jesus the Christ. How can we put ourselves in a position over these 21 days to be learners and followers of Jesus? How important is it for people to lock in and not miss a day? Well, first of all, I believe to be a learner and the follower, the first thing, we got to see what Jesus did. Uh, we really have to mimic Jesus. You know, like we used to say, be like Mike. As far as I'm playing well, to be like Jesus, you got to do what Jesus did. And one of the biggest things Jesus did, he stayed in prayer. He stayed in prayer. In fact, he was removed from the crowd, climb up to a mountain just to be in prayer. Uh, he also spent a lot of time with uh, his disciples. Uh, for us, that may be church members, that be our pastor, whatever. We need to spend time with the believers. Uh, continuous. And what happens is that becomes a lifestyle it becomes a habit. So those are some things, if you can just start doing that. Every now and then, I had one of the brothers to come down yesterday from the church. We just sat along as men of God and just talked about the goodness of the Lord. So basically, prayer, being in community with other believers in Jesus the Christ, locking in every single day of these 21 days of prayer and fasting, these are disciplines that we can, should, and that we must have in order to develop into learners and followers of Jesus that make other learners and followers of Jesus. In closing, I want to highlight this scripture. After Jesus' baptism in Matthew chapter number three, after his temptation in the wilderness in Matthew chapter number four, after angels came and ministered to Jesus in Matthew chapter number four, and after he starts his public ministry in Matthew 4, 17, when he preaches his first sermon and says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The first thing that Jesus did was pick his team. First thing that he did was pick his disciples. He ministered to the masses, but he spent the majority of his time with 12 disciples. And I believe that he picked his team because his ministry is not a personality driven ministry, but it's driven by the principles of Christ. He wanted his ministry, his mission and his message to far outlast him. Now, when he picks his team in Matthew chapter number four, verses 18 and 19, Jesus says, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. In other words, we have a responsibility to follow he has a responsibility to make, meaning that we can't make ourselves disciples. But if we're going to be his disciples, we are responsible for following. He is responsible for making. In closing, I want to ask this question. I want you to respond to the people. 
Why is it that you feel like we try to reverse the roles? We try to make ourselves better, try to make ourselves great, try to make ourselves righteous instead of just focusing on following Jesus while he makes us from the inside out. Why do we reverse the roles? Because it's so easy. We, we are in what I call caught in the flesh. Uh, we are following the world rather than following him. And it's easy to do with social media, with our cousin them, our mama them, or whatever. But to follow Jesus, you're going to have to pay a price. That's going to be a price that you have to pay. And sometimes the price don't feel good. Sometimes it don't look good. Sometimes it's not good to the flesh. But to follow Jesus, that's what we must do. The world is pulling one way, and Jesus is pulling the other day. And we have to make a decision, Pastor. And it's easy to, much easier to follow the world than to follow Jesus. But we have to have a made-up mind that no matter what happens, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, for Jesus I live and for Jesus I die. Man, that's so good. That's so good. I want to thank you for tuning in today, number one of 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting. Do not forget to go to the website if you need tips on fasting. Make sure that you go to the website, beatmetothestar.net, and click the flyer that you see, and that flyer will give you all the fasting resources. Also, make sure that you download and follow this devotional daily disciplines of a disciple that's the focus of this fast being a disciple of jesus the christ and last but not least do not forget to join us for our grand finale which is saturday january 27th 9 a.m central standard time right here at the main campus of the star in closing we are not finished until we give god our best not to a church but through a church for those of us that are giving through our church, several ways to be able to give God our best. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. We're open. Sunday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're open. If you want to give in person, but those hours don't fit, we have a drop box open 24 hours a day. Come up the church steps. Go to the left. Go to the brick part of the building. Look to the right. You'll see the drop box. Mail in your cash. Your checks. Your money orders. The 7400 London Avenue, South 35206. Give online, beat me to the star.net forward slash give. Give by text. Text the amount that God has laid upon your heart to 855 912 7781. Cash app dollar sign. Beat me to the star. Venmo at beat me to the star. Lord, take us from this place, but never from your presence. Bless the gifts and the givers. May they be used for the edification and the upbuilding of your kingdom. Now unto him that's able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding great joy. To the only wise God our Savior be their glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forevermore. And everyone that agreed with this prayer said amen, amen, and amen. Have a great Sunday morning. See you 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. All locations. Peace.